Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo. There's so many different cruise lines to choose from, and each has its own benefits and drawbacks. Royal Caribbean and Celebrity Cruises are two big cruise lines that are owned by the same parent company. We're going to compare them looking at some key areas including food, value, staterooms, and more. We want to make sure that you have all the information you need to help you plan your next vacation. So stay tuned for that and more coming right up. We will start quickly going over both of the cruise line's reputation, then we will go more in depth into our nine categories comparing the two cruise lines. Royal Caribbean is known to have something for everyone with lots of different entertainment that's included in your cruise fare. They also have some epic extreme activities like the flow rider, rock climbing, bumper cars, skydiving simulations, all sorts of stuff. They also have a variety of different neighborhoods that gives you lots of different locations to relax and explore. Celebrity is known for having the first half acre of real grass at sea. They're known for both their dining quality and uniqueness with restaurants like Eden. If you're looking for rare wine, then Celebrity has the largest and rarest collection. One of their newest class of ships, you'll recognize the magic carpet, which is hanging off of the edge class of ships. So that segues us into the first area that we're going to start with, which is food and drink. This area is a big part of cruising for me. I love trying different foods and dining at new restaurants. Both cruise lines include some beverages like lemonade, coffee, teas, and a few other juices in your cruise fare. When it comes to the amount of locations included in your cruise fare, Royal Caribbean would win. Both cruise lines have buffets, main dining rooms, and some quick dining locations, but Royal Caribbean tends to fall a little bit behind in that area. The buffet was pretty good, but nothing spectacular. On both sides of the ship, it does have the same meal, so be sure to check which side's quieter, because there's always a quieter side than the other one. The first couple of times, I didn't really realize this, and the other side was much calmer. We really enjoyed the main dining room on Royal Caribbean. Now, we didn't have high expectations going in, but we really did enjoy it. I really love the French onion soup, and our server was great. She made suggestions and substitutions based on what we liked. Some of the locations include things like the Solarium Bistro that had the best breakfast views and was not very busy. We also had some nice lunches at Park Cafe and enjoyed the calmness of Central Park. Royal Caribbean also has lots of specialty dining options including Chops Grill, 150 Central Park or 150 Central Park, Giovanni's Table and more. The prices uh, for specialty dining ranges go from about $30 to $50 US per person. There are dining packages if you plan on eating at specialty restaurants often though, so check into those. So let's look at Celebrity Cruises dining options. On Celebrity Cruises new class, the Edge series, they have upped their dining game a lot. Instead of having one main dining room, there are four different MDRs that are all included. Each has its own theme and special menu options, as well as the MDR menu that's available at all of the four MDRs. Even if you choose a set dining, dining time, you can move around and try all the different MDRs, so be sure to let your server or hostess know that you'd like to go to one of the other restaurants. We love the food we had in most of the MDRs. My favorite was Cyprus, you can't go wrong with some Saganaki. Aaron's favorite was Tuscan, which was Italian inspired food. The buffet on Celebrity also has a nice selection of foods and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They had lots of made-to-order options and international selections. One thing that we did not love was that there was some time during the day that the buffet was closed to turn over for the next meal service. I do like being able to pop into the buffet on the way back to the room to grab some fruit or some small snacks, and I did find that a little bit of a little bit annoying. Uh, we did have a viewer though make a great recommendation to check out the spa cafe. So if the main buffet is closed, you can go to the spa cafe and get some light snacks there. So I will definitely do that next time. There are also a couple of other included dining options like Cafe Al Bacho, Soft Serve Ice Cream, Mass Grill for Poolside Eats, and Eden Cafe for breakfast. There's also a good selection of specialty restaurants that offer unique dining experiences. Some of our most unique dining at sea took place on Celebrity Cruises. Eden Restaurant is an entirely different kind of dining experience and for the more adventurous eaters. There's also a Rooftop Garden, Raw on Five, the Lawn Club Grill, and more. If you're on a longer cruise and willing to pay for the specialty dining, you will not get bored of Celebrity. 
We also could not complete the food and drink section without mentioning Celebrity's Magic Carpet. This unique feature is on the edge class of ships and allows you to relax with a drink while hanging over the edge of the ship. My favorite was actually when it was on the lower decks and we were sailing because it was really cool to be right over the water. So personally, for this category, I would say that Celebrity really wins. Yes, Royal has a lot of options, but Celebrity's four main dining rooms that you can rotate between are great and have a unique portion of the menu and theming that are dedicated to really cool meals. The specialty restaurants had great quality, really in love with them, uh, and were unlike any other dining experience we had at sea. Before we start talking about staterooms, I just want to pop in here to thank everyone who has liked and subscribed our channel. Really, thank you very much. It's so important to us. And say so we have tons of cruising videos about dining, chip tours like Royal Caribbean, what's included in the price, you know, everything you need to know about the Celebrity Edge, the Celebrity Edge ship tour. So when this video is done, be sure to check out our channel and thank you. The third category we are comparing are the staterooms. There are some similarities between the two cruise lines in that they both offer interior, ocean view, and balcony suites. Both cruise lines also offer staterooms for solo travelers. This is a great option and allows people who are traveling alone to only pay for one cruise fare, not two. Not all ships offer solo cabins, and when they do, there aren't very many, so make sure you do book up early. So let's look a little deeper at Royal Caribbean. They have a huge fleet of over 25 ships, ranging in size and age. With a variety of rooms, you're sure to find one that you will like. I find they're pretty traditional, but well-appointed. Something that Royal Caribbean offers are interior room balconies. These are balconies uh, that are over the neighborhoods, like Central Park or the Boardwalk. These balconies are slightly cheaper than the ocean view, but they're still a lot more expensive than interior staterooms. One thing that Linda really wished that she knew, this doesn't affect me as much, but it does affect Linda a little bit more, uh, is that uh, they do not have conditioner in the shower, only shampoo and soap. Linda was trying to save on luggage space and didn't bring any. This was, <laughs> this was a bit of a mistake. Linda has very long hair and was growing it to donate it. So by the end of the week, without conditioner, it was pretty dry, and I had to hear about it quite a bit. As we talk about uh, the cabins, something that we really find important, especially since Linda and I have a lot of stuff we need to charge, and I think most families do. There's not a lot of ports and a lot of outlets uh, in these rooms, uh, is a USB charger that lets you charge a bunch of stuff at once that are all USB compatible. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, we will put links in the description below. If you're not interested, don't click on it, but uh, we find them very useful. Also, another thing that we find very useful is some lights. Uh, I'm someone who gets up in the middle of the night <laughs> and uh, half the time I don't know where I am. And you've also got to step up to get into the bathroom. So uh, something that I do find uh, useful is some of these portable lights that are USB charged uh, and that you can put in your room. And just for total transparency, these would be affiliate links. So again, you will help support the channel uh, if you click on any of those. But again, there's no obligation. Oh man, Aaron, you're calling me out for trying to save on space and not packing conditioner. That was such a mistake. I will not do that again, traveling with Royal Caribbean. So on to celebrity cruises and their cabins have some unique features. On the new edge class of ships, celebrity emphasizes how they have large washrooms and more spacious cabins. We did find the washrooms were pretty big, which was nice and the rooms did a good job incorporating a lot of storage space and you can put your suitcases under the bed. I feel the rooms were very modern with lots of hidden space. Something that we were not a huge fan of was the Infinite Veranda, and you can check out our video to learn more about that. So overall, this was a hard category to pick a favorite. In my ideal world, I would actually combine the room from Celebrity and the balcony from Royal Caribbean, because I, I do like a more traditional balcony. <laughs> Another category people take into consideration when choosing a cruise line is the demographics. We've been on a variety of cruise lines and found that they all have a variety of activities. So your cruise is really what you want to make of it. But we wanted to talk about demographics quickly. Royal Caribbean is known for families, couples, and solo travelers in their 30s to 50s. Royal Caribbean does have the largest kid area, kids area that we have ever seen. Although we have not been on Disney, but we will be shortly. So if you're interested, subscribe. 
with a variety of different age-appropriate kids' rooms, activities, and epic pool areas. For Celebrity Cruises, we actually had a hard time nailing down the group they were targeting. It appears to be couples between 35 to 70. There are a lot of great dining rooms and bars. The kids' space was the smallest we'd actually ever seen on a cruise line. You do see more families over the holidays and peak travel time, so if you have kids who like meeting other kids, then that would be the best time to cruise. The activities were great and really family friendly. It ranged from poolside games to archery and volleyball. And we dominated at archery. We were very, very good at it. Uh, that said, I would also say it was it was very hard to nail down the demographic for celebrity cruise lines. <laughs> I think Linda and I spent the most amount of time debating sort of what what the demographic was for any cruise line uh, on celebrity. So for this category, I would have uh, no winner as it's just good to know the demographics on board and there'll be more kids on Royal Caribbean cruises and less on celebrity. Oh my goodness, Aaron, by we were good at archery, really it was you carrying the team, but definitely a lot of fun. And that takes us into our next category, entertainment. And really the entertainments on the cruise ship can change depending on the cruise, especially if you're somebody who likes participating in different activities. During the day, both cruise lines have amazing activities crew who organize and run lots of fun, different family-friendly activities. The amount and extremeness of the activities will depend on the cruise line. If you ever meet us on a cruise, feel free to ask us about uh, how I almost got kicked out of the volleyball competition. <laughs> That's an interesting story that we'll definitely save for when we meet you in person. Royal Caribbean cruises are known for the water slides and extreme sports. We're going to put that in the next section of ship features and amenities. Let's look at the nighttime entertainment. Royal Caribbean has Broadway shows at no additional cost. We saw Mamma Mia on the allure of the seas and absolutely loved it. There's also a lot of different guests, like comedians and musicians. The Oasis-class ships have a spectacular outdoor aqua theater with divers, gymnasts, and aerialists. They were amazing. Great on them. I can't imagine diving into water on a ship moving on water. On the Quantum-class ships, there is the new 270. It's a multi-purpose space that turns into a performance area in the evenings. In addition, there's themed dances and live music throughout the ship, Royal Caribbean offers a lot that is included with the cruise fare, and its quality is amazing. Celebrity Cruises also has a main theater where they have song and dance shows, and it's also used for comedy shows and other guest performers. There are a lot of different dance parties and different themes. We participated in a silent disco, and it was cool. There's That's something we wouldn't normally do, but I'm glad that we checked it out. There were three DJs battling, and it was hilarious. Celebrity ships with the Lawn Club also offer different concerts under the stars. We also couldn't talk about the Knife Light without mentioning Eden on the Edge class of ships. Here you can pay for dinner or come to the lounge and enjoy the interactive performance and live music. For this category, both cruise lines offer a variety of nighttime entertainment to enjoy, but the size of Royal Caribbean ships offer a much larger selection and quality. I mean, they have full Broadway shows, and we didn't even mention the skating rink. There's, They have skating shows on this small rink, and the performers are amazing doing jumps and everything around there. So really, Royal Caribbean gets the win for this category. Let's move into ship features and amenities. Depending on the size and the age of the ship, it will affect what amenities you have on board. Both cruise lines have large and mega ships. Celebrity Cruises also has expedition ships, which are usually a bit smaller. Their amenities would be different. If you're looking to stay busy and try lots of activities, then Royal Caribbean will not disappoint you. They have so much that their water slides and multiple pools would make for a calm day. Some of the more extreme activities include a zip line, the Flow Rider, which is a surf simulator, the North Star Observation Deck, bumper cars, iFly, which is a skydiving simulator, laser tag, rock climbing, and we can just keep going on. I'm not going to lie, before sailing with Royal Caribbean, I felt all these extreme uh, sort of amenities uh, were a bit of a gimmick and just flashy things that would get you to sail, sail with them. But the ships are so big that if you're interested in a calmer cruise, then you can go to the Solarium, relax by the pool, have lunch in Central Park, and so much more. You can make your cruise whatever you really want on one of the Royal Caribbean ships. 
Now, Royal have experiences like I've never seen before on a cruise ship. If you like all these extreme and, I don't know, flashy activities, let us know in the comments below. Celebrity cruise ships have features that are much more modern feeling. You'll notice it right away when you see the newest ships with the magic carpet bar hanging over the edge and the art as you walk through the ship. This was definitely some of the most unique art I've ever seen on a cruise ship. Similar to Royal, there are a lot of open and large spaces for gathering. The Grand Plaza in the middle of the ships is similar to the Royal Promenade on Royal Caribbean. There are restaurants, bars, and entertainment events held here. What is nice is at the pool area, there's no restrictions on pool towels, and you don't have to give your cruise card like you do on Royal Caribbean and worry about you know, losing a towel and then paying for it at the end of the trip. An area where a celebrity excelled is in the fitness space. Their gym was huge with fantastic views. I know there are some people who wish that this space was used for a bar or restaurant, but I really love that you can work out with these great views. Some of the other ships even kept their gyms open for 24 hours, so if you ever felt the urge to work out, you could. In this category, I think the win goes to Royal Caribbean. If you're traveling with a group of people, there's so much included in Royal Caribbean. Everyone can choose what to do, whatever they want to do to make their cruise special. If you want a zip line, you want to play volleyball games, you can do that. Ping pong, you name it. Simulators, skating, and if you want to relax in the Lido deck and take the trivia challenge, then you can absolutely do that as well. So on to the kids and teen options. Both cruise lines do have programs for kids and teens, but the size and variety is very different. Royal Caribbean is known for the amazing kids programs known as Adventure Ocean. They have dedicated spaces for babies and tots, tweens and teens. There are special spaces for arts, science and different activities. Often there are more kids on the cruise ship, which is nice for kids to meet and hang out with. They also have H2O Zone, which is the splash away bay for kids with smaller pools, water slides and other water toys. I kind of kind of wanted to go into it, but I don't think that would have been good. Royal is geared towards families and they made sure to have great kids programs. Oh my gosh, Aaron, that's a way to get us kicked off of a ship. We were a little surprised at how small the kids program was on Celebrity. They clearly did not want to use up a lot of space for a kids area. They do offer kids program. It's the kid, It's the camp at sea for kids from 3 to 12 years old. And they have X Club for teens from 13 to 17. The staff are great and there are lots of fun things to do. It's just not to the same scale as it was on Royal Caribbean. They also have a focus on STEM activities, which Aaron would have been all about as a kid. We also wanted to mention that Celebrity Cruises offer er, autism friendly ships. This was the first cruise line we had ever seen to have this. This includes activities, movie nights, and toy friendly lending programs and more options for families. It'd be easy to look at everything offered and say that Royal Caribbean is the winner, but I really think it depends on if your kids will attend the programs and if you would be interested in the autism friendly options that Celebrity has. Yeah, I think it's really great to have more accessibility in cruise lines and having autism friendly courses and programs, I think was great. One area of the ship which is very popular and can be very expensive is the spa. Both cruise lines have spas and depending on the ship, they also have thermal spas. Royal Caribbean offers a thermal spa in their Oasis, Quantum and Radiance class ships. You can buy a pass before sailing and if the thermal spa is where you'd like to spend your time, it might be worth purchasing before you sail, as they do tend to sell out fairly quickly. Celebrity has a really nice looking thermal spa to walk through, but personally, I felt that it, it needed a pool or a hot tub, and it's not really something I would choose to spend my money on when cruising. I didn't find either cruise ship had a great spa and would say that they are kind of tied. Massages also cost a lot more on a cruise ship. I would rather save the money and spend it on an excursion and get a massage at home. So in terms of value and cost between these two, you'll generally find Royal Caribbean cruises are slightly cheaper than Celebrity, with Celebrity being more of a premium brand, similar to Princess from Carnival. The delta in cost really comes down to, in our minds, the food and ship design. On a Royal Caribbean cruise, you'll have access to a bunch of fun activities like flow riders and laser tags and bumper cars and much more depending on whichever ship that you're on. With Celebrity, it's a bit less flashy with great entertainment and fun shows, volleyball competitions, you know, pool mini golf, <laughs> uh, you know, it's really focused on a great cruise uh, and a modern ship design. 
So if your family is looking to do everything and use things like Flow Riders, Royal Caribbean is probably more for you. On the other hand, if you're interested in seeing some of the small things being executed really well, then Celebrity will probably be your cruise. That said, Celebrity is generally more expensive, but if you're looking for upscale cruising, Celebrity is your choice. If you want to have all the bells and whistles along with things like skydiving, then go with Royal Caribbean. So overall, as Aaron said, Celebrity Cruises is more upscale with smaller ships so they don't feel as busy and it's actually less waiting time. We met a couple that waited over 20 minutes for an elevator when they were on a Royal Caribbean Oasis class ship. Uh, No thank you, I will get my exercise and take the stairs. (laughs) Royal Caribbean is more family oriented and has more, eh, lack of a better word, random activities. Uh, Go-karting is not necessarily the first activity I think of when cruising, but both cruise lines do have lots of different spaces and activities, so you can make your cruise whatever you would want to be. We hope that this has helped to give you some information when picking your cruise and which cruise line to go with. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Also, maybe you're interested in our content. We do have another channel called Flamingos in Wonderland where we focus on more Disney content. So check that out as well. Thanks again for watching and happy travels. Happy travels.